Technetium 99M. Today I will be explaining the radioisotope Technetium 99M, the man-made element that is used in thousands of medical examinations throughout the year. But first, what is a radioisotope? Well, an isotope is two or more forms of the same element that contain equal numbers of protons but different numbers of neutrons in their nuclei and hence differ in relative atomic mass but not in chemical properties. So a radioisotope is above and as well as being radioactive. So how is technetium useful in everyday life? Technetium 99M is one of the most commonly used radioisotopes in medicine in the investigation for functional studies and the imaging of the human body. The imagings are on the brain, heart, thyroid, blood pools, and so on. The technetium is then injected into the body through a protective syringe and into the bloodstreams. These images are detected from the gamma rays that are emitted from the body of the patient. The gamma rays are the most dangerous of all radiation, for they send out radioactive waves that can cause cancer. But rest assured, the radiation given from this element is quite low compared to other radioactive elements. So as the gamma rays are being fired out from the patient, the gamma camera is then used to detect all the gamma emissions from the body and make an image for the doctor to see. After that, the administrator makes sure that all the technetium has safely exited the body of the patient. Why do doctors use technetium 99M for medical imaging? Well, first of all, it only has a low output of radiation, so the patient and administrator are relatively safe from the radiation. Secondly, it emits pure gamma rays and only gamma rays, so the images are quite clear and easy to pick up. And thirdly, this element has a half-life of only six hours long, so it is long enough for the scan to be completed in time and short enough so that the radiation will not cause any lasting damage to the patient. And sadly, to every good, there is a bad. For using this element, there is a one in 1,000 chance that they can develop your cancer or leukemia. Also, after the scan, there is a possible chance that secondary radiation can be given to others in the family or even passes by. And for technetium, stays in the body for a few days afterwards. You can also experience blurred vision, chest pains, chills, dizziness, and others. If you do, please contact your doctor immediately. Overall, all the advantages outweigh the disadvantages and lead to being used frequently. There is also the radioisotope's high success rate and usefulness. Not only does it have low radiation, which can cause less harm to the patients and administrator, it can be injected into the bloodstream to quickly reach the appropriate areas, while the element can pass through the body quickly at the speed of light. And lastly, even though it is radioactive, it would only stay radioactive at its peak for 6 hours. This is more than enough time to perform the scan and will not cause any lasting damage to the vital organs. This about wraps up our lesson on Technetium 99M. Thank you for listening. Until next time, goodbye.